Have you ever wondered where God came from? Or how do you forgive others? Well, this Easter, we've got answers from a funny little red robot who just happens to hop around Bible stories. Happy Easter! I'm Tina, and welcome to Ask Gizmo, where your favorite robot from Superbook answers all of the questions you've always wanted to ask. Gizmo! Whoa! Hello, everyone! Hi, Gizmo! Hi, Miss Tina! It is great to see you again. It's great to see you, too. You know, last time we were here, I answered a bunch of interesting questions from lots of boys and girls. Do you remember? Yes, I do. And I learned a lot about you. Like your favorite color. Red. Your favorite ice cream. Rocky Robot. Yum. You also helped others with trouble not knowing how to act in certain situations. I am glad I could help. And you answered every one of their questions that were sent in. It was quite a challenge. Thank goodness for my upgrade to the 7 nanometer processor with low latency, six time high efficiency, multi threaded data core. <gasps> wow! It made answering all those questions a snap. Well, that's great because we're back here to do it again. Huh? Gizmo, there are so many out there who want to know more about you and your Bible adventures with Chris and Joy. Plus, with your knowledge, a little advice to help strengthen their faith wouldn't hurt. More questions? That's right, Giz. Especially just in time for the Easter season. Easter! Jesus' resurrection! Yep, that's right. And bunnies. I love bunnies. They are so cute. Yes, they are. And Easter is not only the time to remember what happened to Jesus on his last days on Earth, but more importantly, to celebrate him rising after being dead. Yes, Easter is the most important time for Christians to celebrate. So, are you ready to rise to the occasion and answer some online questions? I am ready. Cool! Here's how it works. With your parents' permission, go to superbook.cbn.com slash askgizmo. Follow the instructions, type in your question, and Gizmo will follow up with an answer. That sounds excellent. What a cute Easter joke, Gizmo. I saw it on my app notification. Oh, speaking of which, make sure you get the Superbook Bible app. It's filled with online stuff you and your family will love. Let me show you. And when we return, we'll ask Gizmo your questions. It's the new Superbook Bible app. It's packed with games, activities, and Superbook episodes that you can watch for free. Oh, no! There's trivia, a fun daily devotional, and answers to your Bible questions. Plus, an easy-to-understand Bible the whole family will enjoy. You can even create your own Superbook character. Ta-da! It's the new Superbook Bible app. Free downloads on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon. Gizmo, was it hard to jump in and out of all of those devices? Oh, not for a hopping robot like me. Another Easter joke, get it? Oh, Giz. But everyone should know, once you get the Superbook Bible app, you'll be able to watch more episodes of Superbook, play games, and have daily Bible quests the whole family will enjoy. I find that the app is programmed to be familiar and easy to use. It sure is. Speaking of easy, how about we start off with an easy question for you to answer? Let's do it. Anya wants to know, what do you do when you're not on an adventure? Oh, I keep myself busy, whether it is helping Professor Quantum around the laboratory, studying Bible verses, or binge-watching Superbook. Most of the time, I just love to help my friends, Chris and Joy, just like Jesus helps us all. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Taylor asks, do you have any pets, like a dog, a cat, or how about a rooster? A while ago, when I was first created, I had a pet mouse, but then I learned it was part of a computer. Currently, I do not have any pets, but I do love bunnies. God has made them so soft and so cute, and they make my sensors so warm and fuzzy. How can they be so unbelievably soft? I love bunnies. Jay's question is, if my friend made me sad or angry, do I still have to forgive him? Forgiving others is a choice that you make regardless of your feelings. You choose to let go of any bitterness, ill will, grudge, or desire for revenge against others. 
That's right. And if you're having a hard time forgiving, ask God for forgiveness first. He'll understand and help you have peace in your heart. Once that happens, you'll find it easier to forgive others. Here's one from Chloe. If God created everything, who created God? God has always existed, so he was not created. He is the creator of all things, and he created all things through Jesus. Jesus was always with the Father, even before anything was created. Jesus said that God is spirit. As spirit, God existed before he created material things like people and the world. Jolene asks, what do you like to eat? I can go a long time without refueling, sometimes weeks, but when I do need to get recharged, I like to have 1,200 glazed kilowatts and a side of green energy before a quick hibernation. You can say it is my most important meal of the day. Speaking of the most important meal of the day, one of your Superbook adventures dealt with the most important meal in Christian history. Really? Which adventure? It was the Last Supper, of course. You can watch it now on the free Superbook Bible app. Check it out! Gather your family together to see Superbook! Come explore with Chris. Joy. Oh, I'm jumping. And Gizmo. But do you have a backstage pass? As they journey back in time, there'll be action, fun, and plenty of adventure. Do this in remembrance of me. One of you will betray me. Superbook. Watch The Last Supper and other free Superbook episodes on the free Superbook Bible app. And remember, you can watch the entire episode of The Last Supper and other neat adventures when you log on to the free Superbook Bible app. So ask your parents' permission and download it today. Shall we continue? Yes, indeed. Mateo wants to know, have you ever been to outer space? Unfortunately, my rocket boosters do not allow me to fly at such a high altitude. Plus, at that height, my sensors do not operate properly and would make me feel dizzy. I think I'd feel dizzy too at that height. So, although I have not been to outer space, I did accompany Chris and Joy to space camp. Olivia's question is, how is it that you can transform into something bigger than yourself? Professor Quantum has applied nanotechnology to my armor so I can alter my molecular structure and quickly change my shape. Thanks to him, I am equipped with many useful modes that enable me to fly, submerge, and to transform depending on the task. Wow, that's so cool! Watch this! Oops! Um, next question. Kaden asks, Sometimes I don't know what God wants me to do. Am I a bad Christian? God wants us to be in a loving relationship with him through faith in Jesus, and he wants us to tell others about Jesus. A really good way to know what to do is to read your Bible for direction. It is filled with helpful information to help us know how to live and what God wants us to do. In addition, he has given each person gifts and abilities to do good things to benefit other people and to give him glory. And remember, you can always ask God to give you wisdom and help you understand what he wants you to do. That's right. Everyone has something they're really good at. Once you find your natural talent, you can use that talent to tell others about the love of Jesus Christ, whether through drawings, music, or even math. Math? Yes, math is used by builders to create churches, by archaeologists to uncover the truths of the Bible, and even by scientists to create cool red robots that go on time-traveling adventures. Yay for math! <laughs> Here's one from Avery. Sometimes my friends want me to do stuff I know might be bad. Do I always have to do what the Bible says? God has given everyone free will. He does not control us. He wants us to freely choose to do what is right. He wants us to love him and follow him by our own decisions. Plus, 
He does not want you to make decisions that could hurt yourself and others. Jaden wants to know, Gizmo, did you go to school? If you were asking if I went to a place to get my knowledge, then yes. At Quantum Labs, I came pre-programmed with lots of information, but there is lots of room in my hard drive to learn more. Well, I've learned that there is so much to learn. Yes, and to me, going on Superbook Adventures is the best kind of school. As a matter of fact, you can find Gizmo's Adventures on the free Superbook Bible app. It's also filled with games and lessons and brings the Bible to life. So, if you haven't gotten the free app yet, ask your parents' permission to download it. Let me show you what the app is all about. It's the new Superbook Bible app. It's packed with games, activities, and Superbook episodes that you can watch for free. Oh, no! There's trivia, a fun daily devotional, and answers to your Bible questions. Plus, an easy-to-understand Bible the whole family will enjoy. You can even create your own Superbook character. Ta-da! It's the new Superbook Bible app. Free downloads on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon. One of my favorite games on the Superbook Bible app is the daily quest based on the Bible verse of the day. Whoa! A daily quest? That sounds like so much fun! It is! And I get to learn new Bible verses, too. What's your favorite part of the app? Well, there are so many things to do on the app, but I have to admit I really do like watching the episodes of Superbook. It brings back so many memories. I bet it does. You've been on so many adventures, I'm sure you've got a lot to share. Yes, I do. And if you have a question about Gizmo or about one of his adventures, be sure to get your parents' permission to log on to superbook.cbn.com slash askgizmo. Kinsley wants to know, what was your scariest adventure? Oh, there were so many times when I was unsure about what to do, especially when encountering Goliath, being on Noah's Ark as the flood came, or even worse, when getting swallowed by a giant fish. Wow, that is scary. Yes, it was. But we trusted God to help us through all those scary moments. Yep, you can rely on God when in scary situations. I know I do. Miles is wondering, do you take baths at night? Although I am weatherproof, I do need to get washed off occasionally, especially if an adventure takes me through sand and mud. Every now and then, I will relax in a nice tub of a decontaminating solution to get rid of dust and particles that might interfere with my joints and circuits while enjoying my favorite gizmo licious fantastic fruit smoothie. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Isla's question is, I like Bible stories, but my friend said that they are all made up like fairy tales. What should I say? It is important to know that the Bible is called the Word of God because God spoke through men called prophets who received God's Word and wrote it down for us. And since it is God's Word, we know everything in it is absolutely true. The Bible is living and powerful. It is the most extraordinary book ever written. The Bible also contains promises and principles that can help us all throughout life. Plus, archaeological discoveries have verified the truth of the Bible. In addition, there are thousands of ancient copies of the Bible showing that the Bibles we have today are accurate. Here's one from Caleb. My grandma says I should pray to hear God's voice. How do I get God to talk to me? God often speaks to us by showing us truths from the Bible. This can happen as we read the Bible and pray, or perhaps when he reminds us of a verse we have read. When you are going to read the Bible, ask God to help you understand it. He can also speak to our hearts about different things during the day, but he will never tell us to do something contrary to the Bible. Leah asks, are we supposed to get presents for Easter? Although not as popular as the Christmas tradition, some people do like to celebrate Easter by giving gifts. Easter baskets filled with candy seem to be the most popular, 
And I got a basket filled with firmware updates. But I think the best gift of Easter is knowing that Jesus was resurrected. Yes, he was. After dying on the cross, his prophecy of rising from the dead on the third day came true. It was quite an experience. That's right. That was one of your Superbook adventures with Chris and Joy. You can watch this amazing episode right now on the free Superbook Bible app. Check it out. Gather the family together to see the greatest Bible stories of all time in Superbook. Come explore with Chris. Awesome. Joy. Where are we? And Gizmo. I am too scared to look. As they journey back in time. This way, Ma. There'll be action. I think it's time to go. And plenty of adventure. I've seen him. He is alive. Superbook. Watch He Is Risen and other free Superbook episodes on the free Superbook Bible app. You know, Jesus' resurrection story is definitely a major part of our faith. As a matter of fact, you can watch the whole episode of He Has Risen right now. With your parents' permission, download the free Superbook Bible app, log in, and click videos. Freeland's question is, I have to wear glasses. Do you ever wear glasses? Although I do not wear traditional glasses, I am outfitted with visual enhancers, tri-beam scanners, and other optical gadgets I use regularly. They allow me to see objects very far away or in dark places. And sometimes I activate them just so I can look smart. Well, I think glasses are pretty neat. What? Who said that, Tina? Grayson wonders, did Jesus do anything bad when he was little? Since Jesus was God in human form, we know that he lived a completely sinless life. So, we know that he didn't do anything sinful as a little kid. He may have spilled milk by mistake, just as any little kid would do, but he did not ever sin. Zoe wants to know, what are some of the ways you like to celebrate Easter? There are so many ways to celebrate Easter, but I do enjoy hunting for eggs. I use LiDAR, sonar, and radar to find all the eggs. Oh, and the bunnies! Oh, I like the bunnies too! But what I love most about Easter is the celebration of Jesus' resurrection, giving everyone a chance at eternal life. Now that's the reason for the season. Wow, Gizmo, there are so many questions coming in. How are we going to get through them? No problem. With my new upgrades, I will be able to send a response for each and every question from every bunny. Every bunny? It is an Easter joke. <laughs> you love Easter, don't you? Does not every bunny? Giz! Well, before you go answering all of those questions, I want to thank you so much for coming by. It is my pleasure. And remember, even though we didn't get to your question on this show, Gizmo will still respond to you online. So if you have a question about him or about one of his adventures, be sure to get your parents' permission and log on to superbook.cbn.com slash askgizmo. Happy Easter! Bye!